What's going on guys? This video is of course another sealed product opening video. You would have read in the title that we are opening 2020 Megatins. We are on the hunt for Red Eyes Dark Dragoons. Today's video, I need to give a special shout out to the crew down at RC Crew Games. They are one of the best hobby stores south of the Queensland border, so thank you so much for getting behind me and allowing me to buy uh, a case of these Mega Tins from you. Not only did they send me this case of Mega Tins for a really awesome price, they also sent me some pretty rad booster packs that I'm gonna open up on the channel. We're gonna crack straight into these to see what's inside. If you haven't already, check the comments, check the description, and check out RC Crew Games on Facebook. They will be able to hook you up with any of your hobby needs. Remember, RC Crew Games. All right, we have a magnificent machine angel in our Sisters of the Rose. The Chaos Impact, haven't opened a pack of this for a while, but I do know it does have an IP Masquerader in it, so let's check it out to see if we can grab something special. We have a Draco Berserker of the Tenny Ultra Rare. Now that is a really good card, I like that. It actually is printed in these uh, Megatins as a Prismatic Secret Rare. And we have a couple of commons as well. Rising Rampage, let's crack in. Can we get a Secret Rare Appaloosa? Let's have a look. There's our Rescue Interlacer. Malevolent Majesty, and oh, it's a Morpheus, the Dream Mirror, White Knight. All right, we got a one more pack before we get onto the OTS Dark Neo Storm. Remember Dingisu? Oh, that card was pretty beast. Came out in this set, along with no material. Let's have a look. Our Hollow is a number five Doom Kite Mirror Dragon. Guys, don't forget to check out the Facebook page of RC Crew Games. We're going to crack into our OTS pack to see what's inside. Do you think it could be an ultimate rare? I hope you're smashing that like button, guys, because the more likes, the more luck. Remember, we have an XYZ unit. We have a Muddy Mud Dragon. And we have a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. That's actually a pretty good super rare pull. But you didn't come for those packs. You came to see these Mega Tins. Let's crack in. I'm going to make plenty of noise, plenty of mess, because we are pumped for some Mega Tin action. Remember, there are no promo packs in the 2020 tins. So don't be too disappointed when you crack into your own, and there is no extra little packet of cards. All of the exclusives are printed inside the pack and randomly have to pull them. So we've got six mega packs here, guys. We are going to crack in. Of course, we are hunting down Dark Dragoons, not to mention the Appaloosa and the IP, as well as Pot of Extravagance. Super rare Phantasmes. It is all exciting. It is all good. So let's have a look. We've got a heap of Salomon Great reprints here. There's the Coca-Cola Dino Wrestler. And we have our first Hollow card, which is a Dances with Beasts. We have a Beat Raptor, fresh from Rise of the Rampage in a nice super rare form. We have a Valkyrie Sesh Day, seen a little bit of value just recently with that new uh, Valkyria stuff, the Chaos. And we have a Infinite Track Harvester. Probably my biggest disappointment of the Mega Tins is the fact that they printed all of the Infinite Track stuff in super, in like, in high rarity stuff. Why didn't they just do it as commons or super rares? I feel like they've clogged the setup a lot with this extra stuff. Let's have a look at our Prismatic Secret Rare. It is a Magicalized Fusion. Yeah, okay, not the, not the greatest pack, not the greatest pack, but we will crack on and continue to see what else we can find inside. Maybe if we get all of our crappy stuff out of the way straight up, we will be able to pull something good in our final few packs. So we've got World Legacy, Guard Dragon, Armor Duke. Let's just get straight to the hollows, guys. Valkyrie Erda as our first holo, and then an Evil Eye Retribution. Not too keen on that Evil Eye card. So we have a 
Trap Card Storm Dragons Return. I've seen this one so often. There's definitely no shortage of these around. Our last ultra rare is a monster, and it is a Serziel Watcher of the Evil Eye. Now, this card was actually a little bit pricey before the reprint, so obviously a bit of coolant on the market there, which is great for anyone looking to pick up the deck. And we also have a Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Now, I'm not a Dragoonity player. I'm not a Dragon Link player, but I am a huge fan of the secret rare printing of this card. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Just check out that foiling. Konami did a really good job when they decided to go into this sort of uh, the printing with the secret rares from the Mega Tins. Guys, I'm just going to sort out these hollows. I put a few comments in there before, so I'm just going to take it all out and we're going to just pile up our hollows and our comments. Pack number three. Last pack from the first tin. So we've got some Guard Dragon stuff, Chaos Betrayer, and here is our first holo. We have a Mermal Abyssalatia, the card that never sees any play. We have a Time Thief Winder. I actually really like the fact that this is now a holo. Definitely one of the best cards in the Time Thief deck. Let's get on to our Ultra Res. We have an Outrigger Extension. Same again, guys. Same issue. This card could have been something a lot better, like the, uh, the, the Vision, not the Vision Hero, but the... Uh, you know, the, the Hero Link monster. Extra Hero. The Extra Hero card, it would have been much better as an Ultra Rare. And we have a Successor Soul. Another one of the uh, exclusive cards to the tins. Not great, but probably the best out of the three cards that were uh, announced later on. And our Secret Rare is a Sky Striker Ace. Kind of. Well, I'm going to say that that first tin was an absolute dud. I'm willing to say that. And we're just going to crack straight into the second tin. You know why that was a dud, guys? Because you're not smashing that like button. I want to say right now, hit that like button. Give me some more luck. And we will see if we can improve our luck. Okay, so we have Time Thief Madame Ver and an Evil Eye Mesmerism. All right, we're getting into our Ultra Rares. We have a Witchcrafter by Street. All right, our next Ultra Rare. It's a Link Monster. It is an Unchained Soul of Rage. No Appaloosa yet, guys. I'm getting a bit of concern here. I need an Appaloosa. And our secret rare is a Witchcrafter Hain. Now, I think that was fetching a little bit of value before the reprint of the Mega Tins because it was an Infinity, Infinity Chaser card. And yeah, look, not much of that set would have been open. There's not a lot of good stuff in there. Here we go, pack number two. I am glad I am seeing a little bit of variety in these cards, though. All right, we have, well, when I say variety, now I see one of the first double-ups. We have a Gladiator Rejection as our Super Rare and an Unchained Soul of Disaster. I'm pretty sure we've seen both of those Super Rares before. We have a Strength in Unity. That's another one of the promos. Yeah, look, another not-so-great card. That artwork looks pretty sweet, though, so I'm not going to criticize it too much. And we have a Witchcrafter Schimetta. Um, yeah, look, more Infinity Chaser support. And we have a Draco Master of the Tenue. Okay, that'll replace my Ultra Rare in my Tenue deck. It's time for an update, I think. And of course, we have those last few commons. All right, here we go. Here we go, our final pack, our final pack. Guys, if you haven't already, head down to the description and check out the Facebook page of RC Crew Games. They're the amazing guys who uh, let me buy this case from them. There will be more openings in the future. Don't forget to check out the sealed only videos as well because I'll be updating every single week, every single episode, what our weekly budget is and how we are spending it. Final pack. There's the Cross Crusader. Time Thief hack. We have a test panther for our first hollow. Now we know Fantastical Dragon Phantasma is also printed in Super Rare, but unfortunately, not in this tin. Now we have an Ultra Rare Monster. It is an Omni Dragon Brotor. It's great to see some of that Dragon Link stuff getting easier and easier to come by. Let's have a look. It's an Exceed Monster. It's an Infinitrack Mountain Smasher. Not too great, but okay. And we are going to go straight in for our Secret Rare. It is a Spell Card. It is another Magicalized Fusion. Wow, that card is so easy to get your hands on, guys. If you're looking for Magicalized Fusion, 
the 2020 10s is what you're looking for. So we didn't do too great out of that. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I want you to hit that like button. I want you to subscribe to the channel. I want to say a massive thank you to you for watching this and, of course, to RC Crew Games for hooking me up with the case of Megatins. Thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you in the next video.